This is Fortified Friday, my name is Ilkka Siren and we are continuing to discover the wonderful world of fortified wines and obviously we've been spending quite a lot of time in the traditional zones of Jerez and, and Douro and Madeira but now we're actually jumping to the other side of the world to South Africa and tackling a wine called Moniz Vintage Port 2006 and now, my dear friends, probably if you have the Bacalhau blood running through your veins, you will probably hear that port. Can they really call the wine port? Okay, I know this would be a long discussion, and so I'm not going to go very deep into it, but port is a protected uh, name in the European Union. But hey, we are not in the European Union. We're in Africa, my friends. So just to avoid that uh, discussion, I'm going to take over it. Just put a little tape like this. I don't know if it really helps. And then I'm gonna write CF, CF, which means Cape Fortified. So let's get into the wine. The wine family is Moniz and they've been making wine in South Africa from the beginning of 1900s. So they've been around for quite a long time and many people think that yes fortified wines is the European thing and then port wine is the Portuguese thing but they actually been doing uh, fortified wines quite a long time in South Africa. In fact many times they argue that who invented the port style fortified wines and uh, Let's be honest, I'm quite young, I can't remember who, who he was, so I can't really say, but, uh, but let's go into the wine. So it's 2006, and it should be this vintage style wine, and it's made, usually the fortified wines in uh, South Africa is made from Pinotage and, you know, the local, local stuff, but this actually has been made from Toriga Nacional, Sozao, and I think it also had Tinta Barroca or some that kind of stuff. So, I mean, Portuguese uh, varieties, but they make them like in Kalitz Dorp, uh, it's the name of the region, it's like five hours from Cape Town, so not in the very heartland of the wine production in South Africa, uh, but it's quite interesting that they actually have the varieties there. Uh, the color is deep, as you can imagine for a vintage wine. But it's funny, I mean, if this would be a blind tasting uh, and there would be a bunch of port wines and this would be in the middle, uh, you you probably maybe wouldn't guess this would be South Africa, but you would think that there's something unusual about this. So it's not the most classic uh, style of smell of what you are used to when you are drinking port wines. It's more kind of uh, dense in a way, more black the smell and it's not as concentrated in a sweetness sort of sense it doesn't promise you a very very sweet wine uh, because when you smell a port wine you get the, 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 the fruit you know the concentrated fruit and this doesn't really have that it's more kind of like a red wine smell like a basic uh, red wine but let's taste it mm. now obviously the sweetness comes and uh, you get again it's, it's more acting like a red wine with a bit more body a bit more sweetness uh, but it's actually it's not too bad I mean I wasn't really expecting anything really special I haven't tasted a lot of fortified wines from South Africa so I didn't really know uh, but I'm positively surprised by this wine let's give it one more go has acidity it's not too sweet it has good fruit it's quite uh, focused in a way which I like uh, I like it it's not too bad again we have a good example that there's a lot of good fortified wines out there not just in the the mo most uh, famous regions but all over the world so I think you should keep your mind open and, and try new stuff all the time and uh, actually a question of the day you can write it down here uh, what would be your name recommendation for the uh, port style fortified wines in South Africa? Would it be Cape Fortified or, or something else? You can write your comments down below. Also, you can share the clip. It would help us a lot. And uh, go find some South African uh, fortified wines. It's quite interesting. Anyways, see you next week. Cheers.